hello and welcome back to my channel so for this video I will be discussing on how to plot points on the Cartesian plane so the ordered pair or the point is in the form x y so this is the abscissa the x and the y coordinates called as the ordinate now if we're going to plot a point what we're going to look at first is the abscissa. So for the abscissa, if this one is negative, then you're going to move starting from 0 towards left, towards the negative side. So this is towards left. Now if x is positive, then from 0, you're going to move towards right. Okay, so this is the x is for the x-axis. Now, if we're going to have y, if the value of y is negative, then you're going to move down. So you're going to move downward. And if y is positive, then you're going to move up. So if y is positive, you're going to move up, then negative, move down. Then if we're going to have x, you're going to move towards left if x is negative. Then you're going to move right if x is positive. For example, if we're going to plot these points, number 1, let's have 6, 4. Number 2, point negative 5, 3 the number 3 point negative 2 negative 4 then 4 let's have uh, 3 negative 10 then 5 let's have 0, 5 6 0 negative 4 then 7 let's have negative 5 0 and 8 let's have 3 0 so let's have number 1 number 1 is 6 4 so the starting point is the point of origin this one in here so this is the starting point so, x here is 6, so x is positive, so you're going to move towards right. So, this is 6, so you're going to move 6 units. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, y is 4, this is positive, so you're going to move upward. So, in here, from 6, you're going to move 4 units up. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4. So this is now point 6, 4. For number 2, point negative 5, 3. So starting point in here, 0. X is negative 5. So what you're going to do is you're going to move towards left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then y is 3, so positive, so you're going to move up 3 units. 1, 2, 3. So this is point negative 5, 3. And number 3, this is negative 2, negative 4. So starting point, x is negative 2, so move to the left. 1, 2. Then y is negative 4, so you're going to move downwards 4 units. 1, 2, Three, four. So this is point negative two, negative four. Then for number four, this is three negative ten. X is positive, so we're going to move starting from zero, three units. Move towards right. One, two, three. Then Y is negative ten, so you're going to move downward ten units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in here. 
So this is 3, negative 10. Then for number 5, this is 0, 5. So x here is 0, so you will not move. So starting here, x is 0, so do not move. Then y is 5, so this is positive, so we are going to move upward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is point zero five. The number 6 is 0, negative 4. Again, x is 0, so you are not going to move. Then y is negative 4, so you are going to move 4 units downward. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 0, negative 4. Number 7, negative 5, 0. X is negative, so you are going to move towards left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Y is 0, so you are not going to move upward, neither downward. So you are going to have this point. So this is negative 5, 0. Then the last number, number 8, 3, 0. X is 3, so positive, so you're going to move 3 units towards right. 1, 2, 3. Then Y is 0, so you will not move upward or downward. So this will be the point. So this is point 3, 0. So I hope this video helps and see you next time.